All right, so here's the play that everybody's making a, a lot of fuss about. Here's Jamal Williams here. Victory formation. I think that's the only problem to have with this. If you were planning on doing it, don't run it out of victory formation. I think that's the biggest beef or gripe that you have with it. But look, players wanted to get that for Jamal Williams. He had 17 touchdowns the year before, didn't have any. Real love teammate in the locker room. It was kind of one of those things where this team made a decision, and I get it. Optics don't look the greatest, but... You know, at the end of the day, a big touchdown, another touchdown, and the Saints win 48-17 afterwards. Now, this is why you love a veteran like Tyron Matthew. Just watch him. This is a veteran player reading the quarterback, making the play, jumping the route, getting the pick. Should have had a pick six. Might have gassed out at the end, but you watch the return here. Maybe he was just thinking about not just getting into the end zone. You know, all that controversy that happened. Almost got in the end zone, but that is a great veteran play by Tyron Matthew. He was actually tied with Paulson Adebo for team high four picks. Good for, tied for seventh in the NFL. So again, easy read for Tyron Matthew. Then the return game. Again, you look at him, kind of maybe slow up a little bit. Not going full speed. Kind of knows what's going on. It almost gets in, and then it leads to that crazy play, which we'll talk about shortly. So Saints had to worry about a false start. Now just watch A.T. Perry here. This is a nasty route. Does a great job just getting open. It's about as easy of a pitch and catch as you can get. Second touchdown of the day, six yards out. Just love to see it. Got Prentice as the, the blocker here. Kind of that option route, if you will. Just another great throw. Easy hookup. A.T. Perry looking good. All right, we got to show some love to Taysom Hill here. This is a big 27-yard gain. Just doing his thing. Play action. A little there to Kendra Miller. Freezes the defense enough. And then it's all Taysom Hill. Outrunning the linebacker. Outrunning some of the secondary for 27 hard yards. Good blocking on the play. I mean, this is... The run defense or the run offense, run attack that you would expect to see. Good block on the interior, great lane created here, and then the rest is just Taysom Hill doing his thing. Didn't use him last couple of games, but they used him when they needed him most because it worked in Week Twelve. All right, so it's third and eight from your four. I love how aggressive the Saints are here. Just put it up to your big receiver and make a contested catch. An At Perry. You're lucky you didn't get called for a taunting penalty there, but that's trust. That's the type of offense that we wanted to see all season. And of course, they found themselves in the last you know, five games, if you will, but that's the type of stuff you want to see. All right, let's watch this goal line situation. This is the second goal. Watch Pete Warner here. Nice trickery from the Falcons with Drake London, but Warner makes a good tackle here to prevent London from getting in the end zone. And then they followed up with this third and goal play. Here's Cordero Patterson. Watch Carl Granderson here. He's the one that ends up stuffing this for a loss. Just comes unblocked and makes it fourth and goal. Granderson has, again, done a, a nice job this year. He got paid. You know, kind of been some of their, their best defensive end, pass rusher in a lot of ways. But this is just one of those plays where it means a lot. And here's the fourth and goal play. It comes incomplete. Big deal. I mean, you don't get turnovers i thought ugo amati was gonna have a pick six here but again you talk about making a big stand and, and turnover and downs don't count in the grand scheme of things as a turnover but huge play for the saints all right so a couple plays later following the big 20 yard hookup to juan johnson here's rashid shaheed in the slot again an excellent throw again he's there car sees him puts his hand up and just makes an outstanding catch in the end zone you talk about guys, again, the second year for him was just another good example of the Saints getting some good return on their draft class and undrafted guys. Again, play action to Miller. Great protection. Outstanding throw by Derek Carr and just gives Shahid an opportunity to track the ball all the way and get it. Did you see the guy at the end, Nacho Libre? Well, we've already given Kendra Miller some love, but man, let's look at his best run of the day. Just how talented he can be. Just finding the lanes, making the moves, getting a nice surge there, picking up 18 yards. 
Saints' run attack this year was not good. Outside of Taysom Hill, they didn't have any running backs that had over 20 yards. They got close here with Miller, 18, but good blocking, Cam Irving. Just a great move by Kendra Miller. Most of it was him, but there was definitely some good blocking. Again, real promise from him. You know, Elante Taylor had a, a rough start to the game. Just watch him here. He makes up for it in a big way, getting this interception. Just watch him. Watch Desmond Ritter. Good bit all the way. He's got safety help there. Makes the pick. Good return. Really big moment for him. Second interception in two weeks. I mean, that's really awesome to see. A lot of these Saints rookies and second-year players have really stepped up to the table. But, you know, with Elante Taylor, just a really great play. Uh, you know, Saints corners, excellent season. Top 10 in pass defenses. Three players there. Paulson Adebo was third with 18, and Lante Taylor and Isaac Yedem were ninth, tied for ninth with 14. Celebration. What's insane on this play is Kendra Miller scored. Now, look, this is a guy that we talked about in training camp. We thought he was going to make a huge difference. You know, a little flip out. One, two, three, four, five, six Falcons defenders right there, and he still punches it in the end zone. Of course, the play had to be... Reviewed a little bit more. Dennis Allen threw the challenge flag, but the ref said, you know, didn't have to worry about it. But again, good play concept, but there's just nothing there. But Miller, juke, breaking tackles, and gets into the end zone for a very hard-fought touchdown. He's got a good future ahead of him. Well, you know we've talked plenty about A.T. Perry. Watch him working against A.J. Terrell, one of the league's better corners. He's got a real bright future ahead of him. And again, this guy was a six-round pick. He was supposed to be a day-two pick, but... We've talked so much about him. Just a wonderful adjustment on the ball. Carr having enough trust in him to be able to go to his rookie. A little bit of a play action there with Kendra Miller. Great throw. Even better catch for A.T. Perry. Gets the Saints on the board. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL playoffs, is bringing you an offer that will help make the playoffs electrifying. New customers can bet 5 bucks on any game and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code BOOT. New customers can bet just 5 bucks to get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code BOOT. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Must be 21 or older in most eligible states, but age varies by jurisdiction. See DraftKings.com Sportsbook for details and state-specific responsible gambling resources. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Terms at sportsbook.draftkings.com slash basketball terms.